Welcome back to Friday Night Lights. Three years ago this week, the Erie Otters captured the franchise's second Ontario Hockey League championship, and we look back at the series clincher from the Erie Insurance Arena that night. May 12, 2017, after four straight 50-win seasons, a previous trip to the OHL Finals, and the name's in place for one more run going all-in, as they famously said. The Erie Otters, along with a fan base of more than 7,000 strong, starved for championship glory, entered the Erie Insurance Arena, leading OHL Eastern Conference champion Mississauga three games to one with a chance to sew up the franchise's second OHL crown. I think the mindset for the team was finish the job. A lot of those guys, they had been there before. You had a lot of holdovers from losing in 2015 to the Oshawa Generals. Though it wouldn't be easy, the Steelheads led 2-0 after 1-3-1 and three to one, nearing the end of the second period when Taylor Radish would tally his second goal of the night, scoring on a power play to make it 3-2 heading for the third. This team was not going to allow this chance to slip away. To, to win on home ice and give the fans that opportunity. And he would come up big once again in the final moments of regulation. I look at that shift. And you go and look at the, the game time goal and again that relentlessness that, that, that this team never quit to go and trap guys on the puck. Dylan Strom doing some of the hard work along the wall to make sure they couldn't escape the zone. Off the third Taylor Radish goal tonight, they were tied at three, heading for overtime. I felt like this group was like probably the most relaxed group in a dressing room that I've ever been part of. It's like we knew we were going to win, and mm -hmm. yeah. you know, in the dressing room, it was just like, hey, let's just chill, have some fun. And after incredible runs throughout the postseason, the captain Dylan Strom, Red Tilson Trophy Award winner Alex Debrinkit, playoff folk hero Warren Fogel, and the likes of Taylor and Darren Radish, the Steelheads couldn't forget about Anthony Sorrell. I just remember Doctor on the bench was like, we're scoring here, we're scoring here, it's over, it's over. Like, we haven't even stepped on the ice yet. <laughs> They've seen him score clutch goals. He was, you know, performed in that as a rookie, a free agent rookie for Oshawa in 2015 when they went to win the championship, scored the Memorial Cup overtime goal. That was the play was to go to Tony. We drew it up in the intermission. The Otters prevail on Sorelli's power play goal. Final score, 4-3 to three in overtime. It feels unbelievable. You know, uh, you come in the area you know, back in January and they, uh, you know, everyone's welcoming me. So bringing, uh, bringing the fans and the team home a championship, it uh, feels amazing. Winning the series four games to one and clinching the 2017 Ontario Hockey League Championship. He's been great, you know. Uh, I don't know how many game-winning goals he's had. You know, he's made, scored at uh, big times, and you know, he's really helped us out. Yeah, it's pretty cool with uh, with having Darren here. It's it's something I will never forget. It's not what many middle is going to do. I think only a few have done it in the past, and uh, for the rest of these guys, I've been with, I've been with them for most of for three years, and it's it's been a lot of fun. And I, I it's a I'm, I'm speechless right now. I actually watched <laughs> it the the other day. I found it on my laptop and. It's just like just guys yelling in the in the, in the GoPro. You can't even you can't even hear what's going on. The second J. Ross Robertson Cup in franchise history for you. Still at a loss for words. I mean, been four years down this road, and we finally did it at the end. So, you know, credit to you know, coaching staff and Brownie. I remember the Listen. the the cup. The cup had like a, a top in it, and I didn't know how to like hold it. So I literally <laughs> was on I was on YouTube the night before, like in case we won. I, 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 that's why I took the top of the cup off. <laughs> Can't even put words to describe it. Uh, so proud of everyone here. Uh, great team effort. Like we came back and we did it. Like so exciting right now. For me, uh, my second championship, uh, first in the OHL. This is this is this is my highlight. The way that building just exploded. Uh, it's an experience and a moment to kind of capture for you that I'll never forget in, in having that chance.